All right, today I was going to do a video to show you the school north system that I have installed here in the garage bowling alley. Uh, it was developed by a guy overseas, and I believe in Sweden is where he lives, and he made it at home on his own computer, and it's free for anybody to download. It works really well. Now, if you ever watch this bowling and you see this piece of wood sitting over here on the ball return, that is the webcam that I use for the score more. So it's got a telephoto lens on it, which I used a regular webcam, but it was making too small of an image, which I'll show you in a little bit. So I had to get one that had a zoom lens in it. So as you can see, from this angle, all 10 pins are visible. But if I had any closer, you lose that first row of pins. If it's any further over, I tried all kinds of positions on the deck light, on the kickback, looking down at the pins, but then you'd also have interference from another pin rolling by or in the pit or something like that that it would see. So really the best place to put this is out here on the ball return about, oh, about seven feet from the head pin. But as you see, it gives a clear image of all 10 pins. I'll get back to that in a minute. Now on the side of the detector, or on the top of me, I've got this 44 switch cluster mounted right here. This wire right here comes off the Arduino, which is a board I'll show you in a minute. But there's a little switch right here and a little cam, a little lobe right here. Whenever the machine cycles, it pushes this switch up right here at just before 90 degrees of cycle. And that tells the Arduino to go ahead and score. So whenever the cycles, this little lobe will go toward the switch and just before 90 degrees, it pushes it up once and sets everything in motion to score the pin setter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cycle the pin setter here so you can see the switch push here. Watch it go here as it cycles. Right there. It went just before 90 degrees. top of the detector, I showed you on the other side, right here where that 44 switch is. This is the Arduino board, I hope I'm saying that right. Got it mounted on my second ball solenoid, which I'm working on, trying to get this figured out how to run it up to the reset button up front to put the pin setter in the second ball. The developer said he's going to try to come up with a method to program the system in the 10th frame when you only need to shoot one spare shot to automatically cycle the pin setter and not score in the second shot because the problem I'm having now is if I push the reset button, it'll score a gutter ball or whatever on the next bowler that hadn't bowled yet. So we're trying to figure out a way around that. I've got it plugged in right here. Cable runs up and across and down and goes all the way up to the laptop up front. Now let me go show you all that. Okay, up front here is pretty simple. I just have a basic laptop and the Arduino plugs in on this side to the USB port. The other side, I have the webcam plugged in here. Then I have my output for the video, which is what you get to see on the YouTube stream while we're bowling. I'll just go into score more here, double click that. There's score more. And right now I have to go into settings, advanced, Arduino, and I have to hit start to activate it. He said he's working on a program to where it'll do this automatically. Okay, now that I got this started, let me show you how the cam works. Go to settings, camera, and you go into calibrate camera. We're on camera two, and you see you have an image of each pin right here. And when you get a green light, over here it means it's recognizing each pin what you do is you go in like i can say one and i can go in and change the one to up here i can change it i've got it right here for what works for me is because when the rake comes down the rake sits about right here and i don't want it to read the rake board like when you reset the button or reset the pin setter it throws the timing off from a normal cycle where the rake drops then you have the small delay. So sometimes when you hit the reset button, the rake and deck are dropping at the same time. So I wanted to make sure 
basically the deck is going to be here and the rake is going to be there so it kind of reads in between them but you can go through and set each one to whatever part of the pen to read it so that's the image that's coming from that camera down there which is you see all 10 pins have a good clear shot of each one and it needed that zoom lens on there so you can get a big enough image to put each circle on each pin so once you get done with that i'm going to cancel so i don't want to change any of my settings then we go into menu again new game let's go to normal bowling i'll put in me and hit start and then you have a game so let's come over here i'll throw a ball i got the pins on the lane the twisters from yesterday i haven't taken them off the lane yet so i promise i will not hit the pins go ahead and throw the ball seven on the screen and it even shows the pins on the right side of which you had standing up. Go back and reset it. I'm going to throw another ball here. Oh, I missed. Come back here. And there you go. On to the next frame. Score more is a great system. It works really well. And after yesterday, we had a few little bugs while we were doing our live stream. The developer sat down and rewrote the program to accommodate all that. And we got everything working. So, hope that helps you understand how the score more system works. If you have a miniature bowling alley at home, um, you can put this on there too. There's a lot of other people that have it. Um, it works on anything, any size. So if you have half scale, full scale, quarter scale, this system will work for you, so get with him. And if you'd be so nice, give him a donation. I gave him some too because he didn't have to do this, but he's done a lot of work on it. And he works with me, and it helps out a lot of people that have their own bowling alley at home. So anyways, just wanted you to see that. Hope you enjoyed it.